Welcome to the Windows channel and this is the Patch Tuesday update. Update? <laughs> and uh, basically this is uh, Patch Tuesday, second Tuesday of each month where there are a certain number of fixes. So the uh, patches have been released a little bit after 1 p.m. Eastern Time today. And of course they have a certain number of uh, fixes. First for Windows 10, there are, it's a big cumulative update, so if you check it out, and uh, let's go here on the settings and the update history, I see here it's a cumulative update, version uh, 10 of Windows 10, version 1607, and it is KB3176495. You also have a Windows malicious software removal tool uh, update for Windows 8, 8.1, and 10. So basically this is um, the update for Windows 10. It contains apparently, from what they say here, includes improvements and fixes in the functionalities of Windows 10 version 1607. So there are some fixes here. It's going to be interesting to see if some of you that have some problems might have some fixes through here. And it also contains the, the different security updates. Now here is a little more detailed security update bulletin. Uh, from this website here. So here's what we are looking at for Patch Tuesday today. First, there's a flaw affecting Internet Explorer. So this is an update for all versions of Windows from Vista to um, Windows 10. Uh, rated critical, no exploits at least. That's good. And so this means that it's a very, very important fix for Internet Explorer. Also, um, and you see here the exploitability of uh, what it fixes basically in here. You've got also um, Microsoft Edge. This is for Windows 10 only. Uh, once again, critical rating. This means that this could be exploited by bad guys out there. So uh, that's something to be careful about. Also, remote code execution flaw in Microsoft graphics component. This one also is critical so you see that it um, has many many critical flaws and critical means that even though it's not exploited now uh, it's easy to exploit and it could be it's very important to do to, to do this fix. So this affects Windows, Office, Skype for Business and Link. Then we have the privilege escalation flaw in the kernel mode drivers. This means you could create a bad script that would, through the kernel mode drivers, um, you take a user account that doesn't have any privilege and bring it up to administrator mode so that you can actually do whatever you want. Uh, this one is rated important. Important means there's no immediate risk, but it's better to do. And it also often means that it's a little more difficult to exploit than the general ones. You've got also a Office um, update. So if you've got Microsoft Office installed or Word Viewer, uh, you've got one that is critical in Office. Uh, secure Boot Bypass. Secure Boot. Uh, this one is important also. And it's uh, affecting, of course, a wide range of Microsoft Windows. There's a Privilege Escalation Vulnerability in Microsoft Windows. And uh, this one is, of course, another one that's fixed. Remote code execution flaw in Microsoft PDF library. So uh, this one's critical, meaning it's very important to do so. And it means that if a malformed PDF file is done, it could actually break something. You know, might be you know uh, exploited with with that. And uh, information disclosure flaw in active sync provider this is by the way what we i was talking about in the um in my um, news bulletin i was talking about a flaw that goes back to windows 95 so this is i believe a fix for that if we look at it at, at this uh, bulletin here it says security update for windows authentication methods so i'm pretty sure that this is the fix that goes with the um, or or this one here it says Microsoft Windows. It's MS 16101, MS 16101. 
So this one, this one is the flaw that I was talking about that goes back to Windows 95 where authentication had a flawed problem. So they finally fixed it. It means that they fixed it right now. So it's pretty cool. And this one is another one, Active Sync Provider problem with Universal Outlook. So uh, as you see, lots of critical stuff. Um, and updates are anywhere from, I believe, 6 to 15, depending on the computer you have. So uh, just check your Windows updates. It's very important to do the updates. And like I said, on Windows 10, it's a cumulative update and on other versions of Windows 8, 8.1 and uh, 7, it's a um, various number of updates that will uh, happen to your computer. And lots of them are critical, so that means it's important to get them fixed right away. So make your Windows updates, check your updates and install all the patches. And for Windows 10, I don't know, still nothing. I've checked the improvements and fixes to see if they would say what they actually fixed. There's no bulletin for it, so we're not really sure what it actually fixed, but if uh, I'd be interested to know if some of you that have some problems with anniversary update, if this fixes some issues that you might have with your computer. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe to my channel. You'll be informed when new videos are online. Give us thumbs up, and hopefully you'll continue watching us on this channel.